Well, this is Dylan 75 Games, bringing you another Crusader Kings 2 video I'm playing as Kaiser Frederick the Cruel, age 54. It is the year 1199. All right, we are more with it's still Denmark, I believe. Yeah, and this should be a pretty easy, pretty easy war. 75% already. They've hardly thrown anything at me. Uh, they're in a big holy war. It's a great holy war from the Suna Manusco religion, and it just said for the Norse. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know who's winning. Let's see. Uh, defending against... Oh, that's against me. Oh. Uh, what is this? My Kaiser words and reach me. Okay, is this guy... He's not. I'm sure he uh, he's not a heretic. Yeah, he's my half-brother. Okay, yeah, I made him count of Finn. That's fine. Yeah, Sumanusku is obviously the largest pagan entity out there. I aim to eliminate Germanic and Remova personally. Um, so, yeah, that's... <laughs> A lot of work ahead of me, but that's my goal for till the end of the game. And uh, I don't plan to hold on to. I mean, I could have like a greater Germania all the way up here. They, this is German culture, actually. Uh, Swedish, a relig okay, Swedish North Germanic. The culture is province. Okay, it doesn't say what it is, but it just says what a culture is. Um, yeah, so I'm German. It's Central Germanic, and I guess Lombard would be considered South. Oh, Central Germanic. Well, what's Southern Germanic? It's still Lombard. Occitan. Latin. Okay, I, I also, now that I'm actually down here looking at this, look at cultures. Yeah, basically everywhere we go, it's we're just swamping it with... Um, what does this say? It's Bohemian, it says. Yeah, everywhere we go, it's turning... We're turning every county that we own Germanic. Or German, I should say. Anglo-Saxon, middle of France. It's funny. Okay, so let's finish this war. Yeah, so the, they are defending against a uh, great holy war from the Sun Minusco religion. So I assume Denmark or here is Flashpoint. I don't see anything. I is that over with? No, the great holy war for Norge. Norge. I take it it's this then, the actual uh, nation state of Norge. So they're trying to throw some soldiers in there. They can't take anything, actually. They don't have the soldiers for it, even if they combine them into one. We're just not facing enough enough of an enemy to... It's just laughable, actually. Sweden is next, uh, or the rest of Denmark, I suppose. We'll just keep chewing away. We could go into Sweden, I suppose. But I also have to keep in mind, like, um, kind of getting at the limit up here for my vassal limit. I'm going to have to make another kingdom. I, I don't know exactly what. But is If there's a kingdom of Denmark or Denmark, whatever, I can do that. Uh, heathens attack me, spread the holy faith, barely skip me my life. While you're alive. He's over here in Finn, trying to convert the population. Uh, there's success to Meeson. This is where she is. Our title. I've already... Yeah, I've already made... Can I not send a gift? No, she wants too much money. 48. I take it... Yeah, we're just in the green. 0 0.07. King Nicholas, the wise, has been imprisoned by Prince J Daitwin. Middle Francia. Or Frisia. Weird. Oh, lost another... Another Chancellor. Um, Magnus counted... What happened there? I think... This guy, was he not... No, he couldn't have been my diplomat. I don't know what he's got himself involved with. He's in jail, so I, I don't know. Don't have a clue, but I do know that we need a new chancellor. Uh, this guy's 16. So, let's go here to Meeson. Stick him over there. I think we had a 15 diplomat. This guy's a little bit better. Eighty-one percent victory. We almost have another holding. There's more soldiers. That's army of Skane's army. Yeah, I wanted to be here a long time ago. Ninety-four percent. 
Uh, 23 height, Flinka died of period illness. I don't know why she's half Linga. I, I'm not sure why I'm getting that information. I guess maybe I start her somehow? I don't know. Okay, now this is enough to take a county back. Who is this small and... I, I think you're in another kind of war here. Esther just drifts around, doing nothing productive and nothing interesting. If only she can get off her butt and be more ambitious. Who is Esther? She's one of my courtiers. Lazy good for nothing. Yeah, she is lazy. <laughs> Almost have this one place. We have it. Let's go and defeat this army. It's 100%. We don't even need to shed lies over this. Okay. So we took this, i sure this, this is Denmark, Kingdom of Denmark. Well, we actually just took Denmark's capital, so. And we're over the main size, Do, wh why? That doesn't make any sense. So this, in EU4, this these two are split, they're one in this game. Um, hmm. I can give Sejalin up. Sure to who, though. My half-brother. I just gave him Finn. I could give him Sejalin and try to make him... Like, two towers can be created. Yeah, Duchy of Sejalin. I'm going to give that to my my half-brother. I'll give this to him. Duchy of Sejalin. Include lower titles. That's why I have two over them. I forgot about the second holding. Okay, so now I'm one under, that's fine. Back where we're supposed to be. January 4th, the year 1200. It was always my favorite time of the Middle Ages, the 1200s. Don't know what, exactly why, I just think it's kind of like the beginning of the high medieval ages. Some people, actually, I could be wrong, but I, like some people will say the 1300s is, but smack dab in the middle, if you ask me. So, uh, I believe it's middle ages begin at 900, all the way up to 1450. And it's like the, I'm not sure what it would be called, age of exploration or age of enlightenment. The age of enlightenment really, I don't know, I mean, the renaissance did, was in that, time. So, I don't know, some people will probably say 1400 plus is to about 1700 is the Renaissance. And I guess uh, Age of Enlightenment is 1700 plus. But then also the Industrial Revolution does begin in 1750. A lot of things overlap. So, we lost our bishop. 16, or no, he's 15. Okay, so what happened to him? I don't know. I'll put him this one as Sage Allen. Probably very proud people here. This is, you know, real Viking land that we're getting into now. Okay, let's just ban my soldiers. Cost me a lot of money. So this is almost completely reinforced. But, um, 67 more. It's done. So when we have enough, I'll, I'll create another duchy up here, say Jean. Good monthly balance. Really good. 37.63. Okay, let's uh, do it. Let's create this title. Where's the other one? Say Jalen. Let's give it to my half brother. Duchy of Say. Schleich? Schleichstick? Sejalin. There we go. He completely owns that. Looks more respectable now. He's out of his armor. <laughs> so 47. He's a little bit younger than me. He's nine years younger. Pretty wife. Holy. Uh, yeah, she's okay. He already has two grown children. Two grown boys. Interesting. Okay. So we're here. Can we declare war on anybody else? 
We haven't even gone up in domain size, so... Clear war. Holy war. I don't think that they're going to be able to do a thing against us, truth be told. But they're in, they're fighting off a great holy war against them. This this could be something. It's three counties. Bastard Gotland. I guess you can't go deep into the heart of there. Auslan debt. That's kind of out of reach. But I, obviously, I would go for a Smallland area. Hmm. I guess I could do it. Let's just do it. They're fighting off a, whole, a great holy war. I don't think we're going to see any kind of uh, opposition. If we do, it'll be small. And I saw they're also at war with somebody else. Yeah, the Great Holy War for Nords is going. Uh, King Ludwig of Denmark again. Princess Beatrix of Germania is now legal. Age she became underhanded rogue. This is my daughter. She's not married. Uh, well... She's the only other daughter I have besides the one that's married to France. But wait, um, that's a matrilineal relationship. How did she get that with the King of France? I mean, the children will be Adelard. <laughs> what the? He must have been unbelievably desperate. Does that not mean it's going to become part of Germany? Germania? I don't know. I, I think it's just good. It means it'll be the Adelard line in there. Oh. Oh, this is why. He's got a million kids. No, nope. first boy, I assume he's in line. He's, uh. Uh, he's got. He's House Adelard, so. That's just funny. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm getting old. I actually wouldn't mind dying right now, but he's not stressed. This guy is still kicking on. Well, his grandson is 14. He's going to become the new king of Germany, and he's set to inherit Germania. He's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Genius. I can't... Oh, arrange patrol, though. What? Why would it be matrimonial? Right Frederick, King of Germany. Beatrix, Princess of Germany. Now that's... The grandson to my daughter. <laughs> well, no. She's bad. I mean, craven. Gluttonous. Humble. She's not bad with diplomacy. I don't know. I mean, that's a little bit more inbreeding than I would like. I have no. Ch I can't like click on the icon to, to do anything else. Trip marriage. Uh, so I really, if I want to marry, get him married. This is the only way to do it. Frederick, King of Germany. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of a bad idea what I'm doing. Patient, kind, ambitious, trusting. But she's 43. She's age 16. She's... My daughter. It's just weird. I could do it. I just don't... Know. It's not the marriage I want to do. He'll get married to some nobody, though. It's what will happen if I don't do it. Fine, whatever. I'll marry him to my daughter. It's absolutely weird, but I really have no choice if I want to have a choice of marrying him to somebody. I mean, I can do it to one of my courtiers. That was a five-year courtier. Five-year-old. You know what? Actually, that's perfect. Because it extends. It won't. Do, he won't go for it. What about her? He'll probably go for my... Yeah, he'll go for my daughter. I was going to say it would be perfect because it extends the, the time. Because I, if I become him... Um, if I die and become him, which I will, then if she was like five years old now, that it would extend it to another 11 years before... Because I could just break off the patrol, though, but... My opinion of Frederick is minus 34. I'm educating him, too. What the hell? Okay, well, we'll go for this patrol, though. He seemed to agree to it. Really don't know how... What the heck? It would be her... His aunt. <laughs> Oh god. I there's such thing as an, the inbreeding trait. I just, I don't want him because he's actually actually coming out pretty damn good. He's one of the best leaders. So, yes, I did it. Uh but it's not she should be there as betrothal. Me live in harmony. I have decided to accept suggestion of betrothal between Princess Beatrix and King Frederick, okay? Oh well. Setting up the, <laughs> the new the new Targaryens. <laughs> 
go after this army. This is game. They must have joined somehow. Oh, yeah, they're part of Denmark, so I guess he had to call up the Duchy of Skane. Let's take these guys down. Gets down a chance against us. Crusade for Pannonia. His Holiness Pope Agapetus II is worried about the state of souls in the king of Pannonia. The heathens of their Khan, Tabar Crimea, have no hope for salvation and will suffer the eternal fires unless they can be brought to Christ in this life. Any Christian so willing is offer a complete absolution of his sins in the armed mission against the Tengri barbarian states. Boot. I think... I barely lost anybody. Okay, um, I've got an idea. I, th I think I'm going to raise up all my levies. I'm going to join the crusade, and this time we're going to... I'm going to follow them up there, finish them off. We're going to get ourselves involved in crusade. We ha we'll have crap leadership, though. It doesn't matter. We need to go to the Pope. You have a very funny name. What culture is he? Italian. Agapetus? Agapetus? Agapetus the second, the chaste. Well, I hope he's a Pope. I hope he's chaste. Okay, offer to join war. Save from Pannonia. We'll get involved. <laughs> We're going through a civil war as it is. Okay. Now, let us... Yeah, this is another area I want to become Christian as well. Let's raise up everything. I don't think for a crusade that you'll get the... Um... Well, now that we've done this, let's let's use the north to help us in this war. Here. Throw them in skein. Okay, so the rest of them. We're looking at close to 50,000 soldiers. Uh, so much. Okay, so I'm going to have to pick and choose because the last time we went here about the most you can have for a county was oh okay yeah I forgot we have the um, the military organization for so this will be a lot easier for us now but um, it's September looking at 20k 13k I'm gonna say let's try to break it up into 10k so it's nowhere near it this this should be about 10k now this is 10k, 11k right off the bat. Let's put that there. That there. 13k. Just put this over here. I ordered you up. What the hell? Yeah, I must have ordered it down to scan somehow. they leave, or are they still there? I think they're gone. Anyways, we'll go down here. Whoa, 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 what's this? Uh, Army of Frederick, Sweden. We will have to defeat that. It's not a 10,000, but they're still fighting that freaking Holy War, so... Holy War for Norge. Wow, they're in a lot of wars. They've got two peasant revolts, a Catholic uprising, and they're fighting the Great Holy War. I don't think they're going to last, truth be told, but... We have about the same amount, if not a little bit more, coming up. I think it's going to be more. Yeah, it's going to be around 5,000. Let's, let's hold, hold right here. It's October. What are we looking at? 16K. So we should be okay. One light cavalry, one pikeman, 31 heavy infantry, 3,531 light infantry. Okay. But also levies. Oh, for a crusade, they shouldn't shouldn't have that problem. Okay, so this is now. No, it's got leadership. I, I actually don't really care. Who the hell are we at war with? They're, they're split up. Not we're not at war with the revolt. Yeah, we're we're after the lighter one. So let's try to let's go up here to this place. Let's go here. Does this have leaders? No, it does not. I think. Is this not my youngest son? Educate child. My marshal. Not actually, it's not a bad idea. He's stressed, but uh, he's 27. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, yeah, I want him. 
You will educate my son. We need to take this army down. So, December, what are we looking at for? 14k, so we're fine. Let's get everybody here. What are these looking like? Not the, uh, it's 9k there, 9.8. That has leaders. Let's throw them into Nitra. There's no leaders. There's no leaders. I'll, I think I'll just leave this here. We're, I mean, we're getting more people coming in to the Crusade. Uh, it's the second one for Pannonia. That's fine. We're going to turn it into, I don't know, Hungary or something. There's who, Who's with us? County of Leinster. So... I don't know. That. Some of these are dukes. It could be from like Lombardy, but just a duke joined Count of Avern. I found a stand before my destination of the Crusade with swords in hand. I am ready to storm the walls of Trenkin. My armies now stand poised to take part of the Crusade for the King of Pannonia. Des Vult. Oh, I gained the trait Crusader. What does that give me? Marshal two. Personal combat skills one. Church opinion plus twenty five. Religious same trade opinion. Very nice. It is January 4th, 1201. We have about 250 years less than that. I don't know. I'm not sure. Is it the year 1445 or 1453? I'm not sure what it is. Or is it even 1449? I think that there is a... And I know for sure the latest would be 1453. You know, we need to... How much longer for this? Okay. Well, we'll take... We'll take the counties that we're in. Then we'll band together and go after these guys up here. Okay, they're already suffering attrition. What, what is it at? 8.6. World is a dangerous place and Jesus plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people, that people are conspiring to kill you. I must be careful. That's fine. If you want to kill me, kill me. Lower crown authority in Germania. Who's this coming in? Army of Savarix? I don't know who that is. Lords of Denmark approved the institution of limited crown authority law. Why am I getting that? Probably because I have to have another county. Uh, I have, yeah, a big stake in the Duchy of Denmark, or even the Kingdom of Denmark, actually. Stuart. Keep losing people. Twelve, that's not really good. Collect taxes. Okay, we've got one here. Waiting for this one. Yeah, let's get a battle going. We've been attacked in Skein. Not by that much. So who is holding this? Oh, Peasant Revolt. Kingdom of Perm. Uh, okay. So they did come down. They are, let me see, for their chieftain, uh, High Chieftain of Livonia. So they did come in here. They're after Nords. They are up there. They're still at war with them. Kitchen's truly a wonderful place uh, filled with delicious things and smells, but it worries me that Frederick spends all his time here when he should be practicing sword fighting and learning how to rule. Ford, force Frederick to return. Please don't get gluttonous or craven. He's great, gained the brave trait, which is the best thing that could happen. He's going to be awesome. Yeah, so there's a plot to kill me. Go ahead, do it. I don't care if I die right now. Uh, this The problem with this crusade thing, I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know about this, because it's it's counting my vassals being raised too long. Yeah, hey, come on, I don't want to uh, assault. Okay. 
Any day now. There. Let's go up. Join with this army. We'll take the Vikings on. It's middle of the year, so we we'll have to worry about attrition. Uh, why would you do that? My marshal and plot. Fabricated um, claim on Kingdom of Pomerania. Well, he's the guy. Oh, well, he likes me. I don't know if it's the same guy anymore. I don't know. The scheme's obviously misdirected. Yeah, I've had enough of you damn Vikings. Let's get this crap over with. Oh, we took this. Ah, July 4th hit me before I can get up there. I don't know what they're doing, if they're going to stay still or not. If not, then we'll just split up. Take these armies out. But they keep on moving, like they're going to move, then they stop. No, yeah, they stopped. Come on, get your ass up there. Fine. Let's go. Look what's seen. There's a bit of an army here. Not much, though. What we're seeing is the revolt. Oh, here's an army. Crimea, okay, so it's not that big, and there's the Papacy has an army up there right now. Mysterious Jewish man has offers his services at court. He is well versed in feudal court intrigue and has a pass of as both a mercenary and a spy. If he can be trusted, he could very well prove to be an indispensable asset in the council. Indeed. Amram. Uh, let's go look at this Amram. Ooh, really good as spy. 19. No, no. Awesome, but he's a little bit better than Prince Dykeman of Frisia. Uh, just leave it at that. Let's catch these buggers. 16th of August, get up there. If you're smart, you'd be putting them all into one. There, I caught him. This should really help the war. Yeah, we need we need to get this war over with fast and focus on the crusade. We've had more people come in weird. I think some whoever their enemy is, they're, they're joined with us. Uh, my wife is pregnant. Okay. Well, we hurt them pretty bad. We didn't finish them, though. Where are they going? Let's go up there. Let's take the worst score up to 32. We're at 20% for the Crusade. Okay, so obviously they've lost... What is it? It's Catholic Uprising. They should, especially since this is a crusade, they should be supportive of what we're doing. Kind of weird that they're against us. Let's catch these buggers. Come on. Caught them. There, wiped them out completely. Let's go down here. This 45%, you can go down here. So with both of that, we'll, we should win this war pretty quickly. And it's going really, really well down here in Nietzsche. Estragorm. Where was it that it was bad? Attrition. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to end the video, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.